Execution of Python code with M option or not. The Python interpreter has M module option that runs library module module as a script. With this Python coda.py. I tested Python MA to get. Whereas Python a.py returns. To me, those two invocations seems to be the same except underscore underscore package underscore underscore is not none when invoked with M option. Interestingly, with Python M run PA, I get the same as Python MA with Python module compiled to get a.pyc. What's the practical difference between these invocations? Any pros and cons between them? Also, David Beasley's Python Essential Reference explains it as, the M option runs a library module as a script which executes inside the underscore underscore main underscore underscore module prior to the execution of the main script. What does it mean? Execution of Python code with M option or not. Use the M flag. The results are pretty much the same when you have a script, but when you develop a package, without the M flag, there's no way to get the imports to work correctly if you want to run a sub-package or module in the package as the main entry point to your program, and believe me, I've tried. The docs. Like the docs on the M flag say. Search system.path for the named module and execute its contents as the underscore underscore main underscore underscore module. And, as with the C option, the current directory will be added to the start of system.path. So, is roughly equivalent to. Assuming you don't have a package or script in your current directory called pdb.py. Explanation. Behavior is made deliberately similar to scripts. Many standard library modules contain code that is invoked on their execution as a script. An example is the tomate module. Some Python code is intended to be run as a module. I think this example is better than the command line option doc example. And from the release note highlights for Python 2.4. The M command line option, Python M module name will find a module in the standard library and invoke it. For example, Python M PDB is equivalent to Python break time equals 1s break. Follow up question. Also, David Beasley's Python essential reference explains it as the M option runs a library module as a script which executes inside the underscore underscore main underscore underscore module prior to the execution of the main script. It means any module you can look up with an import statement can be run as the entry point of the program, if it has a code block, usually near the end, with if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore column. M without adding the current directory to the path. A comment here elsewhere says that the M option also adds the current directory to system.path is obviously a security issue, C, preload attack. This behavior is similar to library search order in Windows, before it had been hardened recently. It's a pity that Python does not follow the trend and does not offer a simple way to disable adding to system.path. Well, this demonstrates the possible issue, in Windows remove the quotes. Use the I flag to lock this down for production environments, new in version 3.4. From the docs. I run Python in isolated mode. This also implies E and S in isolated mode system.path contains neither the scripts directory nor the user's site packages directory. All Python asterisk environment variables are ignored, too. Further restrictions may be imposed to prevent the user from injecting malicious code. What does underscore underscore package underscore underscore do? It enables explicit relative imports, not particularly germane to this question, though, see this answer here, what's the purpose of the underscore underscore package underscore underscore attribute in Python? When you use the M command line flag, Python will import a module or package for you, then run it as a script. When you don't use the M flag, the file you named is run as just a script. The distinction is important when you try to run a package. There is a big difference between and As in the latter case, foo.bar is imported and relative imports will work correctly with foo.bar as the starting point. Demo
As a result, Python has to actually care about packages when using the M switch. A normal script can never be a package, so underscore underscore package underscore underscore is set to none. But run a package or module inside a package with M and now there is at least the possibility of a package, so the underscore underscore package underscore underscore variable is set to a string value. In the above demonstration it is set to foo.bar, for plain modules and not inside a package it is set to an empty string. As for the underscore underscore main underscore underscore module, Python import scripts being run as it would import regular modules. A new module object is created to hold the global namespace and is stored in sys.modules underscore underscore main underscore underscore. This is what the underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable refers to, it is a key in that structure. For packages, you can create a underscore underscore main underscore underscore dot py module inside and have that run when running python m package underscore name, in fact that is the only way you can run a package as a script. So, when naming a package for running with M, Python looks for a underscore underscore main underscore underscore module contained in that package and executes that as a script. Its name is then still set to underscore underscore main underscore underscore, and the module object is still stored in sys.modules underscore underscore main underscore underscore. The main reason to run a module or package as a script with M is to simplify deployment, especially on Windows. You can install scripts in the same place in the Python library where modules normally go, instead of polluting path or global executable directories such as forward slash dot local, the per-user scripts directory is ridiculously hard to find in Windows. Then you just type m and Python finds the script automatically. For example, Python m pip will find the correct pip for the same instance of Python interpreter which executes it. Without m, if user has several Python versions installed, which one would be the global pip? If user prefers classic entry points for command line scripts, these can be easily added as small scripts somewhere in path, or pip can create these at install time with entry underscore points parameter in setup.py. So just check for underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore and ignore other non-reliable implementation details. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.